Hello everyone, this is Jake, and before the video starts, I want to briefly tell you that this video is not really a full review, but more of a walk around and then a short drive. Think of this as a bonus video for the week. We wanted to do a full review, but we only had a short time slot where our schedule aligned with the owners. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and checking out some of our full reviews. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy the video. Since its inception, the WRX has managed to be a staple sports car. Even more impressive is it manages to do that while being reliable and have space for your whole family. Today we're going to be taking a look at this WRX and all of its cool features and taking it for a little drive. We're in, it is courtesy of our friend Hans here. So we can't wait to show you guys around this. This is gonna be a fun video. Let's take a look. The front of the WRX is a really striking angle and perhaps my favorite part of it. To say the front is aggressive would be an understatement. You have this massive air intake right here, which is functional. We love our functional air vents and these headlights match it really nicely the way they curve around. I really like this look, the mix of LED and halogen. Um, I think it just creates like a sharp nose. It comes to a pretty sharp, nose right here on the front of the car and overall i think it's just really aggressive really pointy angular and it definitely looks like a mean sports car at the side of the wrx you could be forgiven for thinking this is just a normal subaru sedan there is some neat styling though here on the side you have some air vents right here that go from the wheel wells they look nice they add some just additional sporty look. You also have the wing mirrors, which I forgot to mention at the front. I'm not entirely sure why. I just like Subaru wing mirrors. They just look cool in my opinion. This blue paint is pretty stunning. I, I hope it shows up on camera how incredible this is, but this is a very deep blue paint. It's really an incredible color the, in the light and the dark. I really appreciate what it is. It's very, very cool and makes this car pop. Contrasting that blue though, you have these dark black rims. They're not shiny, they're sort of more matte and it's a very nice finish. They're very well designed. I like the look of the side of this car overall. Um, it's not too out there, but it's also a little sporty looking. Around here at the back of the WRX, it's still a very nice looking car, very mean looking. This right here is the only exterior modification to this particular WRX these Vorices created creators right here they're not stock but i think they are a very cool modification to this car nice and subtle as we move here you have a little bit of a lip on your um rear trunk just a it's not a big wing you can get a big wing on your wrx but i personally i like this little lip right here instead and there's not too much to talk about it really looks like a traditional sedan uh, the tail lights are sort of neatly designed. I like how they wrap around the side. Overall, this is a very good looking car. As you move down the WRX, you can once again see a bit more of that sports car DNA in it. You do have this sort of rear diffuser area. It looks cool. You got um, some nice little detail right here. I'm not sure how functional this is, but it looks nice. Down here, this is actually an area you can put in one of those racing fog lights on your own. That is an aftermarket option though, but I have seen some WRXs do that. It's a neat option if you want it. And then you have your quad exhaust, which are real, they're super cool, and they sound pretty good. So here under the engine hood, we have the heart of the WRX, the two liter Boxster four cylinder engine that has been around for so long for the WRX, an absolute staple of this car. It produces in this 2015 model 268 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, giving you a zero to 60 of 5.5 seconds. That's pretty speedy. It also has decent uh, gas mileage with 21 city and 28 highway. That's not too terrible for the sportiness of this car. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit lower if you're driving aggressively, but that's decent if you're trying to save some gas, which you might want to. Now, something interesting to note is this engine has been around for so long and a lot of people don't like it at this point. But to be honest, if it's been around for so long, it's been proven tried and true. So it's kind of a staple and I don't think they should change it even though the horsepower hasn't gone up in the last like 30 years. Now in the interior of the WRX, most owners don't really care about it because it is a sports car, but you do have some nice interesting bits like these carbon fiber here. Other than that, the materials are pretty plasticky. The seats are okay comfort, um, but that's not really why you get a WRX. You get it for the fun and the fact that you have back seats. Now the back seats, the legroom is okay. We tested them out, but nothing to you know, write home about. Some interesting things that this owner did is they added some LED lights on the bottom here and these AC switches, 
these turn dials were normally silver and they made them red. Give a little nice little touch here. But besides that, not much to write home about. So here we are in the WRX. Gonna take it for a little drive. It is manual. Now the WRX is either come in a manual or a CVT, which is a continuously variable uh, transmission. But here we do have the six speed. If you opt for the SDI, it only comes in a manual. So Hans, is there anything you want to say about the six speed? I don't know this thing. So the suspension in the WRX is pretty stiff. It is a sports car. Now it is possible to daily commute it, but it honestly isn't the best situation. Um, the six speed, it, Hans doesn't want to talk right now because he's driving, he's got to concentrate. But the six speed is pretty jerky compared to other six speeds. It is not the smoothest, but it's a sporty car. You don't care that it's jerky. You don't care that the suspension is stiff. You don't care that the interior is lacking some amenities. It's here for a purpose and it has four doors, which has five seats. That's what it's good. In the interior, two things I've noticed as a back passenger is A, this red stitching right here is pretty cool. Don't stall the car, Hans. <laughs> this red stitching right here is pretty cool. We also have that carbon fiber right there you can see up on the dash, definitely gives a sporty look, along with that four-wheel drive monitor above your infotainment right there. The red gauges are also pretty cool. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun to film. Sorry that we had such a short time with the car. Um, just for those of you that were curious in that last clip, Hans was in fourth on accident when he should have probably been in more like second when he almost stalled the car. But um, it was very nice of him to let us use his car. We had a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing. It helps us out a lot. We produce weekly videos and we'll see you in next week's video. Have an awesome week. You guys are great.